This video will awaken you to the truth of the narcissist. When you first met the narcissist, they seemed so interested in you. They wanted to learn more about you. You felt as though you were developing a relationship with them. You felt as though you were going to build something significant or meaningful with them. And you were willing to invest whatever it took to ensure that the relationship would have a stable foundation. One that could not be destroyed. The problem is, while you thought that you were building something together, you were actually building something on your own. And the amazing person that you thought you had met in the beginning was nothing more than a fabrication, a false appearance or impression, which was designed to lure you into their world. When the narcissist first met you, they were grooming you. They were preparing or training you for the purpose of being their source of supply. Once they began to establish that you held something of value or significance, that is when they knew that you were a suitable target. To lock you into the relationship, they knew that they had to give you a mirage of what you might like to see, of what you might desire or expect from a relationship partner. But it was nothing more than an illusion. It was nothing more than an unrealistic hope or wish that cannot be achieved. The narcissist was not being truthful about who they were or what they were about. The qualities, traits, likes and interests that they displayed to you were nothing more than a fabrication a false appearance or impression that they created. Because they knew that was what you wanted to see. They created a fake world full of lies, full of false appearances or impressions, which they could then use to manipulate you and extract whatever they needed from you in that moment. When the narcissist first met you, they saw a gold mine. They saw a source of wealth, valuable information or resources. They saw something that produces a lot of what they desire. When they try to lure you into their fake world, they are setting up a campsite. They begin by studying you. They begin by devoting their time and attention to gaining knowledge about you. They conduct a detailed investigation and analysis. And then they set up their campsite. A place where they can excavate. A place where they can reveal and then extract all of the valuable things that you have to offer. And this is the only reason why they got involved with you. This is the only reason why they are still around you. They created this fake world which was meant to provide them with some sort of value. It was meant to provide them with amusement or enjoyment. But without you, their world is worthless. Without you, they are worthless. And they know this, which is why they will do whatever it takes to pull you back into their world. Everything they do, it's all about extracting something from you, something of value or significance. 
because they cannot produce anything of value or significance on their own. They have to get it from you. And that is why they go through so much effort to secure you as a source of supply. That is why it causes a narcissistic injury if you reject them or try to leave. That is why they will even resort to stalking when you want nothing to do with them. Because they know that the only value that they will ever have is from what they will get from you. That is why they're so controlling. If you have something of value, if you have something that is worth a lot of money, you are always going to be watching it. You are going to be making sure that no one takes it away. And if one day you accidentally threw it away, you are still going to be chasing after it because you recognize its value. When someone tries to manipulate or control you, when someone tries to put you down, it's because they recognize your value. They realize how much you have to offer. But they don't want you to know that. Because then you're going to look at them and wonder what you're doing around them. And that is why they will do whatever it takes to devalue you. That is why they will take away or destroy anything that you try to build. Because they want to maintain their illusion of being superior to you. If they can create the environment and conditions where it makes it believable to you, it makes it more believable to them. If someone is always around you, if someone is always watching you or in contact with you, if they are trying to manipulate or control you or put you down, it's because they recognize your value and they actually believe you are superior to them. Which is why they will do everything they can to devalue or take value away from you in a desperate attempt to put you beneath them. So that they can maintain their false reality of being superior to you. That's what their fake world is about. They created a fake world because they don't want to live in reality. They don't want to accept the truth. They choose to live a lie because the truth is too painful to bear. Everything they do is designed to avoid the truth, to detach themselves from reality. Denial, projection, blame shifting, gaslighting. These individuals cannot cope with reality. And that is why they have developed all of these coping and defense mechanisms, which always involve abusing or manipulating you in some way rather than actually reflecting on themselves and how they are going to deal with the situation. They do everything they can to trick you into believing that they are something of value or significance because they know that you are, but they're just acting because they know that's the only thing that you're interested in. And they don't want you to look down on them. 
But the reality is that they are very weak, inadequate people. They cannot cope with reality, so they create a fake world and place you in it so that they can take their frustration and resentment out on you. And while they're abusing you, they are also manipulating you into giving your power and energy to them. Because they have nothing. And they don't even have the capabilities or potential to produce anything of value or significance. Which is why they have to get it from you. You are their gold mine. And they are setting up campsites around you to extract your wealth, valuable information or resources. Because they have none of their own. And they are incapable of producing anything great on their own. Which is why when they first met you, they displayed their false self. Which was designed to trick you and lure you into their fake world. Where they could then extract everything that they need to sustain their false self and their false reality. People often wonder, why does the narcissist go through all of this time and effort to create a false self and a false reality, to trick you into validating them and existing in their fake world, to create all of these plots and schemes to take or extract things from you? Why would they go through all of the time and effort to do that? The reason is because they have no other choice. They are trying to survive. And they are deficient. They don't have enough. They are also inadequate. They are insufficient for the purpose of surviving. They cannot survive on their own. Which is why from the moment they meet you and recognize your value, they will try to set up their campsites around you, where they can then extract the resources that they need to survive. They act as though they are powerful, and they have an exaggerated sense of their own importance or abilities, when all of their power and resources comes from you. They trick you into giving it to them and then act as though they are superior to you. It makes no sense from a logical standpoint. But narcissists are very emotional creatures. They consistently feel emotions like shame, fear and guilt. Which you will also feel if you are around them. Because they don't want to deal with reality. They don't want to deal with the truth. So they project these emotions onto you. If you are involved with a narcissist and you feel a negative emotion, whatever you are feeling, it's because that is what the narcissist wants you to feel. It is not because of any negativity that you have produced. Rather, it is the negativity that has been transferred from them. You feel negative because they have taken something from you. Your happiness and contentment. Your wealth, informational resources. And when they take this from you, it begins to make them feel a little more positive. It's all energy. But regardless of what or how much they take from you, they will never be satisfied. Narcissists are overwhelmingly negative. They can never be happy, no matter what they have. And that is why 
they always have to trick people into giving something to them. Negative people have a negative amount. They are deficient in something. While people who are positive have an abundance. They have plenty to give. When the narcissist is acting negative towards you, it is because they feel as though they are inadequate or deficient in something. The narcissist recognizes your value, but they know that they don't have anything to offer you. That is why they created the false self. That is why they have to lure you into their fake world. They see you as a gold mine, and from the moment they meet you, they spend all of their time and effort doing everything they can to extract this gold from you. They don't want to live a reality. They don't want to accept the truth of what they are or what they are doing to you. And that is why they use tactics like denial, projection, blame shifting and gaslighting. They are negative because they are inadequate or deficient in something. They only acted positive in the beginning because they were trying to trick you into giving something of value to them. Narcissists are empty, soulless beings that have nothing to give or offer to you. It's all a lie. It's all a fabrication. They have nothing more to display than an illusion, a false appearance or impression. And as long as you are willing to be entertained by them, they will put on a good show. But it isn't real. It isn't grounded in reality. And they are only doing it to take something from you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at knoxfellacoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.